So today I want to know if you're team bunny or team guinea pig, because we're going to be drawing both of them. So get your paints and pens out now. So for team guinea pig, we're going to start off with a circle just towards the right hand side of the page. Don't worry if you can't draw a perfect circle, you can draw around something or you can check out my hack on how to draw a circle really easily. It's down in the description. Check it out later. OK, so we've got that. Now we're going to be drawing two lines, two horizontal lines just to the left. So one line. These don't have to be straight. These are just preparatory lines. So just do them quite lightly. Don't press too hard. We don't want to see them afterwards. And about roughly the same length as the circle diameter. OK, now we're just going to draw a rounded shape on the end of this. So nice rounded shape, just like that. We're going to be adding the head. So the head starts just over here and it's going to be a rounded shape, just like this. And then it comes inwards, just like that. So just a shape, just like that. I'm going to add in the little foot. And then the tail. Like a blob like that. And then for the eye. Now I'm going to be switching to pen, but please carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see what I'm doing clearly on camera. We're going to be adding in the ear now, so... Just add in a floppy little ear like this. They've got such cute little ears, haven't they? So one like that. And then we're going to be drawing the head area. So coming down. And then coming inwards. Like so. And then on the top bit, it's a bit of a bump and then coming downwards towards the tail area. There we go. A couple of little dashes down below there. Then we're going to be carrying on the body coming around here. Like so. I'm using a couple of dashes just to show that it's fur. And then a line here. I'm going to be drawing a couple of dashes further upwards because you'll see we're going to be adding a little foot just peeking out from below. So here's a couple of little toes peeking out and then the same at the front. Remember if I go too quickly just hit pause and rewind. What I sometimes like to do when I do tutorials I'll watch the whole thing through then I'll go back pausing it as I go along. Okay now we're going to add the eye. So just here going to be adding an almond shape with the round part inside. I'm going to be adding two smaller circles to show the reflection of the light. Colour them all in. And there we go. I'm going to draw a little nose, a couple of dots, some whiskers, now, if you haven't gone over it in pen, go over it in pen and erase all the pencil lines like this. Now that we've erased all the pencil lines, we're going to add some of the markings. Later, if you want to colour this in, you can. So this is just the markings around the face area. So just using these dashes that we used before, just adding some markings to show that it's fur. So they come round all the way to the top and join there. We can also see a little glimpse of the other ear, so we're just going to add that in. Now for the markings on the back, so just adding them the same way, lots of dashes, show that it's fur. Just like this. This one's kind of a ginger colour, so this area is ginger, that area is ginger. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow underneath to show that it's actually resting on something. And there's our finished guinea pig. 
Okay, Team Rabbit, we're going to start off with an oval shape, a large oval shape in the center of the page. This is going to be the rabbit's body. Don't worry if it's not perfect. There we go. Do it more lightly than I'm doing. I'm just doing it quite heavily so that you can see it on camera. We're going to add in another little oval shape, a tiny one here, just for the tail. We'll see what it turns out like. Now for the head, which is another oval shape, but it's slightly tilted and it's stuck to the top left hand side. So let's draw one like this. Don't forget to pause the video if I go too quickly. So here we go. Now for the ear. So that's just going to be a shape just like this. Don't worry, we're going to do all the details in a bit. So I'm actually going to make the head a little bit bigger. I've realized the head's too small. So that's the beauty of doing these preparatory lines. We do it and then we can see if we've got the proportions correct. And in this case, I had not. There we go. So just a tad bit bigger. There we go. Now for the chest, which is just a line going down and inwards, just like that. And then for the foot, so a shape like this. We're gonna mark in where we're gonna put the eye. So just here. Okay, now I'm gonna do it in pen, but please carry on in pencil. So we're gonna start off with the head. So I'm gonna just do a line coming up, following the preparatory lines that we did before, but making it a little bit smoother as we join the ear. Just coming up like so, and then coming down and round till we get to there. I'm just gonna do the little nose area cute little twitchy nose goes inwards a little bit for the nose and then outwards again comes round and here I'm going to draw a couple of dashes just to delineate where the head kind of meets the body there we go just like that and then I'm going to carry on with kind of these kind of uh, how can I describe them kind of like jagged lines just to show that this is fur all the way down to the tail. There we go. Now we're going to draw in the tail, which is a little bit like this. Let me know if you've got a rabbit at home. I used to have a rabbit, his name was Cottontail. So here we go, we're just gonna do the chest now. So again, these dashes, these dashes are super good for showing that we're drawing fur. Just like that. We're going to add in the feet. So one foot starts here, comes round, doesn't go to the end, just there, comes round to about here. And then we're gonna add in a few little toes like this, come round, and then it goes upwards like this. We're gonna add in a few more of those dashes, just like that. Dashing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now for the other part of the leg, which comes up like that. Just like so. Now we're going to be drawing the other foot. So first of all, we're just going to carry on the body there. And the other foot is peeking out from behind this one. It looks slightly longer because it's the front foot. There we go. Now we're going to be adding the eye. So another oval shape, pretty much similar shape to the eye that we did on the guinea pig. So again, leave a little space for the reflection of the light and then color the rest in. There we go. Add a few markings around the eye, just like so. I'm gonna add in a few dots for the whiskers, add in a few whiskers. And now, if you haven't gone over it already in pen, go over it in pen and erase all the pencil marks. Okay, now to add the finishing touches, I'm just going to do the detail on the inside of the ear. So guinea pigs are rodents, but uh, rabbits are lagomorphs, so they're not the same species. Okay, coming around here, just like so. Now we're going to add a little bit of shadow underneath, just to show that it's sitting.
just like so just a little bit and that's our finished rabbit okay if you need some inspiration on how to color it in i'm just using some really simple watercolors and we're going to give it a quick wash so a very very light pink for the ear a little bit of pink around the eye and the nose area and then using a super watery solution i'm just using like a, a very very watered down yellow ochre just to go over most of the rabbit apart from the tail because the tail is going to be white so just using very very pale solution there we go it's the beauty of doing watercolors they are so quick so fast cover and time painting super quickly that's why i love them okay now i'm adding a darker kind of gray just to patches there we go so to produce this gray, I used some brown and a little bit of dark blue. A little bit on the inside of the ear to show that it's in shadow. I'm kind of doing this kind of almost stripe in stripes. just to show that the coat isn't uniform. It's made up of lots of different shades. Make it a tiny bit darker down here, mixing a little bit more blue. A little bit more blue down here as well, where it's in shadow. And also I'm using the same color to draw the ground. So that's our rabbit finished. So for our guinea pig, I'm just using a watered down gray just for the areas of white, because it's not completely white, it's just doing kind of a wash around this area. I'm using my pink for the little toes and for the nose. And there we go. Now for the fur, this lovely kind of coppery colour. Just adding it in here. Doesn't matter if it bleeds out. The same here. There we go. Gonna swoop in, collect all of that. Gonna add in a little bit more red. There we go. And like we did with the rabbit, kind of doing it in stripes. There we go. And using that grey that we used before. Just going to do the ground. And there we have our finished guinea pig. So which one did you prefer drawing, the rabbit or the guinea pig? And I've got individual tutorials for rabbits and guinea pigs, which you will find up here. So click on them now.